Welcome to our agriculture lesson. Innovative gardening. It is the growing of crops in places where there is limited space. It is done in hanging garden containers. It uses recycled materials. To avoid pollution in the environment. It involves the use of containers or materials arranged vertically or horizontally. The types of arrangement depends on availability of space and materials for making the gardens. Vertical innovative gardens occupy smaller space than the horizontal gardens. Some horizontal gardens don't need containers. Use digital devices or print resources to find information on innovative gardening. Vertical innovative gardens occupy smaller ground space than the horizontal gardens. Some horizontal gardens do not need containers. The album created from the print resources can be used to store information on innovative gardening. The album can be used to present the same information when needed. Deep-rooted crops are suitable for horizontal innovative gardening. There are many ways in which innovative gardening can be practiced. Innovative gardening practices we can carry out to care for innovative gardens. Mulching is covering the innovative garden with materials like dry leaves, dry grass and wood chippings. Mulch reduce loss of water from soil and help to conserve water hence prevent the crops from drying. Weeding is the removal of unwanted plants from nursery bed. Weeding should be done regularly and to promote a healthy growth for plants. Watering we should water plant before we start weeding. This makes the soil moist and loose for easier uprooting of the weeds without destroying the seedling. Watering should be done early in the morning and late in the evening. We can use watering canal drip irrigation to water the plants. When watering vegetable we should conserve water. Thinning is the removal of small, weak and crowded plants from innovative gardens. We should thin our plants to create enough space for the other plants to grow healthy. We should remove the weak and damaged plants to create space for healthy plants to grow well. Pest control of vegetable crops can be attacked and destroyed by the insects and other pests so that our vegetable crops can remain healthy. We can use wood ash or make pesticides using Mexican marigold to control crops pests. Material for making and location for innovative gardens. Material for making innovative gardens such as sacks, plastic pipes, plastic bottles, drums, buckets, containers, pots, wooden boxes, walls and used car tires are easily available. Innovative gardens can be placed on the pavement, on the veranda, on the rooftops and on the walls of the building and the fences. Some materials such as metal bars, wires, poles and timbers can be used to support the container for innovative gardens. The container can also be hung on the tree branches. Preparing horizontal and vertical gardens. Identify a suitable space to establish the container garden. Choose a container suitable for what you want to plant. Plant with longer roots will need a long or deeper containers. Plants with short roots will need shallow and wider containers. You may need to make holes at the bottom or on the sides of the container to drain excess water. Fill the container with mixture of soil and compost manure to a few centimeters. Vertical and Horizontal Gardening Vertical gardening is growing crops above the ground. This is used to minimize the space for practicing crop production. The vertical gardens allow us to use space above the ground compared to normal gardening, which is done on the ground. It can be used in places where there is no enough land to practice gardening on a large piece of land. This practice also saves water. The importance of vertical gardening is that it is easy to control weeds, pests and diseases. When crops are grown vertically, only a few weeds, pests and diseases can attack them compared to those grown on the ground. Crops produced from vertical gardens are also clean because they don't get into contact with soil. Leafy vegetables such as kales and spinach are harvested when they are large enough to use for cooking. They are carefully plucked using hands to avoid uprooting the whole plant. Fruit vegetables are plucked when they are ripe. Tomatoes should be carefully picked when they are ripe. Crop produced in vertical gardens is cleaner than those grown on the ground because they do not have into contact with the soil on the ground. Vertical gardening. It refers to growing of crops by arranging them above others. 
This can be done in containers like sacks, wool buckets, plastic bottles, plastic pipes. It can be made against the wall. Materials such as plastic bottles and plastic pipes are used to make innovative gardens. They can be hung on the wall to make innovative vertical gardens. Sacks are used to make horizontal gardens when they are filled halfway with soil. The bottles can be placed on vertical walls to make vertical gardens. Plastic tubes can also be placed along vertical walls and held with clips. Bottles can also be hung vertically on the roof of the balcony. NB, sacks can also make vertical gardens when they are filled with soil completely. Horizontal gardening. It refers to growing of crops by arranging containers next to each other on the ground. This can be done in containers like sacks, gold buckets, plastic bottles, plastic pipes, car tires. It can be made against the floor. Deep-rooted crops are suitable for horizontal innovative gardening. There are many ways in which innovative gardening can be practiced. Sacks can be arranged in small flower gardens or along the paths. NB sacks are used to make horizontal gardens when they are filled halfway with soil. Observing various innovative gardening practices for different crops. Deep-rooted crops are suitable for horizontal innovative gardening. There are many ways in which innovative gardening can be practiced. Steps to follow to prepare the innovative gardens. Choose the materials to use. Drill the holes at the bottom to allow proper drainage. Fill the container garden selected with soil that is mixed well with manure. Arrange the container's garden either vertically or horizontally. Water the container garden. Sowing vegetable seeds. Select seeds that are healthy and can germinate well to plant in your innovative garden. Make furrow slash drill the holes for sowing seeds depending with the size container garden. Sow your seeds in the containers that you filled with soil. Apply mulch. Water the container garden using a watering can or improvised can. Innovative gardening project. Finding information on innovative gardening. Information on gardening practices can be obtained from school books, a library, magazines, and newspapers. It can be also from the internet or from people practicing this farming. Identifying and carrying out innovative gardening practices for vegetables in innovative gardening. Gardening practices on innovative gardening include weeding, watering, mulching, thinning, pest control, applying manure and fertilizer, spraying to control pest and harvest properly and on time. Vegetables grown in innovative gardening should be harvested when mature. Harvesting should be done in the following ways. Broad mature leaves of kale and spinach are plucked by hands. Tomatoes are picked or snipped from plants. Carrots and onions are harvested by uprooting. Cabbages are picked after cutting off from the stems. Records in innovative gardening are important because they show the date when important activities were done. The crops grow, different activities need to be carried out to support healthy growth. These are activities include weeding, watering, mulching, thinning, pest control, applying manure and fertilizer, spraying to control pests and harvest properly and on time. The records helps in tracking the cost of maintaining the garden. They remind us of next important activities to be carried out on gardens. Records can be in form of filling tables, receipts and pictures of the crops taken while still in the garden. Harvesting. During harvesting period, record dates for harvesting and amount of harvest. Records could be presented physically or digitally. During this project, you may experience some challenges. Highlight the challenges and how you solve the challenges. Importance of the innovative gardens. We can use small space to grow vegetables and other crops. They are therefore good for people living in urban areas or where there is limited space for farming. Makes it easy to take care of the crops. Little work is required in preparation and sowing. It saves time and labor. They are easy to care for. One can grow wide variety of crops. Plants can be easily moved to other positions slash places if needed.
they are less risk from soil-borne diseases common on large farms. We get fresh food from innovative gardens. It is a source of income for the people practicing innovative gardening. The harvested mature fruit crops and vegetables can be sold to earn money by selling surplus or excess harvest. It is a source of food to people who practice innovative gardens. They help to save money which would have been used to buy the crops elsewhere. By reusing the locally available materials such plastic containers, used tins, and old tires help to conserve environment. We can produce more food even in places with a little land for farming by using innovative gardening practices. We can produce more food even in places with a little land for farming by using innovative gardening practices. Horizontal gardening and vertical gardening are good examples of such practices. These practices also save water. The vertical gardens allow us to use space above the ground, compared to normal gardening which is done on the ground. When crops are grown vertically, only a few weeds, pests and diseases can attack them compared to those grown on the ground. Crop produced in vertical gardens is cleaner than those grown on the ground because they do not have into contact with the soil on the ground. Material for making innovative gardens such as sacks, plastic pipes, plastic bottles, drums, buckets and used car tires are easily available. Innovative gardens can be placed on the pavement, on the veranda, on the rooftops and on the walls of the building and the fences. Some materials such as metal bars, wires, poles, and timbers can be used to support the container for innovative gardens. The container can also be hung on the tree branches. Mixing compost manure with topsoil makes soil fertile for innovative gardens. Stone columns allow water to flow to the lower level of the sack. Holes are made to enable water to drain. Sack garden can be arranged to form vertical or horizontal innovative gardens. Plastic bottles are used to make vertical gardens when placed or hung on wooden frames or walls. Plastic bottles can also be painted on the outside to make them colorful. Painted plastic bottles can be arranged along pathways to form horizontal innovative gardens. Handle all the tools and equipment carefully when using them. Bottom holes on the pipes are for water drainage. Excess water drips into the hole of the lower pipe. The half-cut bottle will hold water draining from the pipe. Handle all the tools and equipment carefully when using them. Bottom holes on the pipes are for water drainage. Excess water drips into the hole of the lower pipe. The half-cut bottle will hold water draining from the pipe. The seedlings to be transplanted should have a bowl of soil around the roots. The seedlings should be transplanted late in the afternoon or when it is cloudy. Seeds sown in the plastic pipes should be given little water to avoid flooding them.